Hello everybody, this is Isabel from Liabel Nursery. Welcome back to my uh, little tutorial. And last time we have uh, done um, crease. Uh, we have done all the mottling and the uh, undertones. Now uh, it's time for a little bit of blushing. Uh, it just it's just the first uh, layer. It will be a bit pale, but uh, it will give uh, a nice space for the rest of the, the coloring. So I will show you how to mix uh, your blush color if you don't have one already mixed. And I will show you where I put it. Uh, it's. Uh, I just want to remind you that it's a beginner tutorial, so uh, I will just do uh, the blushing at some obvious place. Um, I will not go in detail or uh, more advanced uh, reburning. So I hope uh, it will be fine with you. The color I use usually for my own blushing on my kits, um, it's not a mixed color, it's a uh, I will try to find it. It's a Reborn FX. That's the color I use most. It's a BB lip blush and nails. But uh, any kind of um, uh, pinkish color or a bloody red color give a nice result. Uh, you can uh, go with uh, this this color. It's a mottle and blush color. You can go with any color you'd like to have. Um, uh, as far as it's red, that's okay. Um, you can do it with the powder uh, also. But for now, for today's tutorial, I will go with the mix, uh, mixing the color. Um, you will need a little uh, container, a little palette. You can use uh, those those little balls. That, that's good too. Um, clean brush. Uh, you will need a red, any kind of red, really. That's not uh, it's not a problem. Uh, one you have in hand. Um, I like to use a cadmium red, but but you can use a Spiral too. Uh, I know there are some uh, nice pink color out there you can use. Uh, this one is Alizare Crimson U. Uh, it's a more pinkish red, so if you can see. A uh, nice color too. But I will use uh, my red. I will use uh, white or uh, what I prefer to use is a uh, titan buff. I, I love this color. Um, but you can use white if you have a uh, plain white. That's not a, it's nothing too bad. So I will go with just a drop of red. And just a drop of titan, titan buff will give you a color sim similar to uh, to this. You will need your uh, new medium. Use golden. Any medium you have. Just a brush. I, I two side uh, two side of uh, my brush, and I mix it in that. My paint brush is a little bit too big for <laughs> for that. But I will use another one. Don't like this one. So you mix very well. You will add a few drops of water. Two, three drops. 
you can uh, you can adjust if you add too much water uh, you can add more paint and uh, vice versa it's not it's not too difficult to uh, to get there that's the that's the cover you will get nice nice pink so take um we'll just take another sponge Oh, and uh, that's the brand of uh, sponge I use, Lori. I I bought them at uh, Dolorama. Here we have uh, we have uh, stores like uh, your uh, like uh, Dollar Tree. I think you have in US. I love them. They are uh, really firm. I like this. So, to begin with the face, um, you will add red on the ear, on the eyebrow, on the nose, on the cheek, on the chin. So you can begin in any part you want. I will just put some like a water drop the cheek and go with my sponge and I pounce it you don't want it to be too dark at the beginning it's better to go more light and adjust the color later so you see the difference You do the other cheek the same. Drop. You pounce it. Be careful to really pounce the edge, edges. Not have a mark around. can add a little bit on top of the nose if you want and I love to put it under the top of the, the nose and the, the nostril mm, not sure if you see Let's go a little bit closer. And the chin, just under. You put the yellow here, now we put the red just under. You can make um, all the, around the crease, you can add a little bit of uh, pink if you want. Then same thing, the eyebrows, just under the, the yellow we have put. If you are not sure about the color, you think it's too dark, maybe. Uh, the best way to test it is just take a part where it's uh, it will be uh, hidden under the hair maybe and just go there and test your color you don't want it to be too red too harsh it must be soft really soft uh, then around the, the ear ears I have some trouble to speak today I don't, don't know why it's uh, really hot here. We have a strange, uh, strange end of uh, spring and beginning of summer, I think. So I put pink 
all around the ears and just with my sponges go over the, the top of the the ear right there. Not sure how to say this uh, cartilage on anglais. <laughs> Not sure. You can add the little bit on the the forehead. Just to just to say not not too much just with the what what's left on the sponge so now you have more color on the face um it's be, it's becoming alive you will see the you will see the difference with the creases and the the blush you really will see the difference that made on the kit you will see it beginning to come alive and that's uh that's uh, really um, encouraging, I think. <laughs> On the the end, I have here. I have a slightly open end, and I have a fist. That's the same thing. On the, on the open ends, you have uh, maybe a little more work to do on the open end than the fist because you will have to put some on the bump inside the palm of the end. You blend it well. If you, if you can't reach there, just Take the, the finger like that. And those parts you will add more later. You put some on the tip of the finger. Don't forget to go on the side. It's really, uh, really important to go on the side, don't forget that, that would, will look uh, weird if you don't. Then on the top, same thing, on the tip of the fingers, don't worry about the nails. You can, you can avoid the nails if you want to, but it's not a uh, necessity because you will later, will, will work. Uh, some color on the nail so that's not a not a problem so you go all around the, the tip if you have some paint in between just really sure be really sure that you don't have a drop of uh, paint uh, you can put some on the knuckles i think i hope i said the right words uh, Sometimes I uh, have a lack of uh, vocab vocabulary and I like to put some on the, the knuckles on the top of the end. Then what I like to do, um, often with the younger baby, but this size that's okay too, uh, I like to put some on the wrist. around the, the wrist like you can see it's, it's really not a dark dark red it's uh, it's soft so it will blend well with the uh, future layers we will put on I suggest you to put some blush on the either side of the more um, a big crease and on the the fat uh, part of the the arms I'm not sure <laughs> the shoulder like you see I, j I don't paint I just put the paint there and then I spread it with my uh, my sponge 
If you have too much paint on your sponge, just press it on the paper towel. I put on the the fat uh, fat rolls of, of the the arm. Then on the elbow. Go try to go around, not just uh, on top. Try to uh, spread it around a little bit. So that's about that. You can put some under the, the arm if you want to. That's about that for the end. When you will be more advanced, you can look at uh, some picture of uh, real babies and see where uh, where the red is, uh, where the light uh, appear on the on the baby, that will give you tips on uh, where to put the color you want. For a beginner, it's uh, it's difficult to do that. Uh, we have not the our eyes are not uh, used to see those all those little details. So just put where it's obvious to put it. That will be okay for your first few babies and later on with a little more experience you will be able to play with it and put it in other place that I may not mention here. So for the closer end it's more difficult to go on the inside but you can you can reach Try to reach what you can. That's uh, that's the be the best you can. And if you can't go inside with a sponge, use a use a dry brush and just pounce it a little for. That will do the job. Don't forget all around the tips of the finger. Goes. Top of the end. And around the, the wrist. And for the quantity of uh, paint, do not mix a lot. Um, enough for doing the kit and maybe add a few more uh, layers on top. But not too much because it's not uh, dilute uh, as much as the washes. So it may dry faster in a, in a little container. If you want to uh, use it for just another kit uh, that you will be doing uh, really soon you can I uh, use those little uh, lit little container that's okay for a, a few days a week maybe but after that it will begin to dry and the texture will not be the best you can revive it with a little bit of water but it's not really the best thing to do you better to uh, it would be better to just uh, use a small quantity at a time and redo the mix. So I just put on top of the ch shoulder and in the fat, fat rolls. And you will do about the same for the, for the legs, that's not really different. You will put your red all around the feet.
and around the toes, the tip of the toes. Um, I have put it already on the toes, but uh, if you uh, you're not too fast for uh, pouncing, if you uh, if you work slowly, don't do that because it will dry be before you will uh, be able to uh, to pounce it. So don't put on the the middle, just uh, around. If you think you uh, your paint is dry too fast, you can add a little drop of uh, retarder. You can use a retarder with all your paint mix. I don't use it because, except for the crease, because I kind of uh, I'm a fast worker. I think <laughs> you can put some on top of the on the foot. Um, even more if it's a bigger baby like that, yeah, she have a um, really uh, fat foot, <laughs> so you can put some on top. You put some red also on the, the little bone each side. And for the feet, sometimes I put around the ankles, but not uh, always. It really depends of the of the kit. This one, I will. I don't put red uh, behind. You can if you want. Uh, there's no rules for that. Everyone uh, have his uh, own uh, painting style. For the knee some on top of the knee and uh, spread it all around all the surface surface surfaces surface <laughs> of the knee all around the knee don't forget the the little roll then I like to put some around uh, here just to uh, accentuate accentuate a little bit the the shadow of this part I like to put on the each side of the the crease where the the skin uh, can put some shadow, can put uh, inside of the tie. It's about that for the for the feet. Later on, we will add more on the knees, on the tip of the toes, and on the sole. But the rest will uh, will stay like that. Uh, it seems. It seems red for now, but uh, we will add a few more layers, so uh, it will not be so uh, so apparent, so visible. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope that uh, that helps you to uh, to continue. Um, next time I will just show you how to. Put the rest of the color. We will play a bit with the the coloring, and after that, it will uh, we will be at the the final details and uh, uh, add uh, to some creases and blush and uh, do the final details. Uh, we are uh, almost done already. A few more layers, and that will be uh, that will be that. You will have a really nice little baby. So I wish uh, I wish you a, a nice day, and uh, see you soon. Bye bye.